average guys. Yes, five average guys. And uh, they, I've actually played with these guys quite a lot. They're actually a really nice bunch of people. Um, and they've got a lot of skill as well. I think they just need to get... I'm glad that they've got into this cup because I wanted to see them, you know, it's just that confidence of entering, which is always the uh, the key tough thing for them to for teams to do. And uh, yeah, if you really have a problem with that, come. they just need to think TDG. Exactly. TDG, our, I our heroes. Guys. I know you do. You talk about them all the bloody time. Yeah. <laughs> TDG, they're, they're, they're awesome. an awesome team, the downstate guys. I, I, need, <laughs> I, need, I need to get a tattoo of their logo, I think. <laughs> Should, should we go through the um, builds of five average guys? Uh, we haven't been through any yeah, sure. builds yet. Let's, let's do it maybe a little, uh, a little bit quicker than one would normally do. We can do. I'll, do, I'll go very, very fast. We, we, we'll see if we analyze anything. If anything yes, is special. We, we can. There is a DD Ellie currently I am on who is going to be Maharin. Um, or Harin, maybe Silent M, not sure, Silent Age, who knows? Um, sigil of Energy, Sigil of Battle, going for Strength Runes and Celestial Amulet. 00266, definitely going for the uh, Dagger Dagger, and of course, going for Lightning Flash, Mistform, and also a Cleansing... Oh, well, something happened there. Cleansing Fire, sorry, hello! The most important, the Fiery Greatsword. Exactly, that's lovely. We love the Fire Great Sword. It's going to be nice on this map, especially for getting. Um, I think they probably pop it at the beginning as well to give them some speed up towards the yeah, might. mid so or wherever they go. That. It's quite. It's quite a nice way to get you know your warriors going or or whatever as well. So I'm probably for one of those guys. Going over quickly to um, Uruviel, the guardian on this team, going to be running a typical shout build with the zero one six six one. Sometimes actually plays a bit of a different build for a 00266 as well, speaking to her earlier. Um, she's mentioned she's changed up her build quite a lot. So going for the Rune of the Soldier with the Cleric's Amulet as well. Of course, very bunkery and very supporty build, removing those conditions, turning into boons. And it's very, very, very nice. Altruistic healing. Um, some see it as quite selfish, but of course, Guardian being very, very useful in team fights, and it is essential that he's going to be staying up. Going over to Foz, he is the Thief. And he's going to be going for the Sword Dagger build with the short bow, also with the Rune of Strength and the Berserker's Amulet with the sorry two zero zero six six. Um, so this is the build very much that size of plays very um, avoids a lot of damage, very very kind of annoying to pin him down as well. But when when oh, you do, yes. you can you can kill him. For, but you know in the one v ones, that's going to be really really annoying uh, for most people on the opposite team. Going annoying to kill, annoying to play, in my opinion. But. <laughs> <laughs> you running around and dodging more than you're actually doing damage? <laughs> pretty much, pretty Maybe. much, yeah. I, 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 can't, I can't play the build properly, even though the basics are easy, mastering it is... Uh, and I don't have the willingness, but let's continue. I, I don't want to always hate on the build. Yeah. So I pretty much always do. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry for that. What? Anyway, going over to the Mesmer, Harlequin. Now, this guy is a really, really good Mesmer, actually. He's, he, I'm in TeamSpeak, you hear him say this guy's going to die, and he normally happens. Um, sword Pistol, going with the Great Sword, and he's going for Rune of Strength and the Berserker's Amulet. Now, he's going for a Shatter build as well, a typical build, but also, you know, he's he, he's really good as well with the Pistol. I mean, he's, he uses this... He sets up players really, really well, and that's all I'm going to say because you're going to have to watch to actually yeah, find out how he plays with that. Any need to with that build is a bit more risky than the staff great sword. Yeah, he's not got the to port away. Obviously, like phase retreat, the chaos storm's not going to be on the point as well, um, which is you know very bloody useful. So this is full but he damage hurts like right hell here. if he's in your face. Exactly, exactly. The uh, the uh, you're completely correct about the staff great sword. It's more survivable. You've got more survivability. You've got chaos armor, different things like that, and you know he's got time warp as well. So he's going to be able yep. to use that finish it pretty well. Yeah, let, let's let's go uh, with the last build. So he's going to be using the longbow with the axe and the sword. So he's running uh, some eviscerateness here. He's going to be going with the room of the flame legion and also celestial amulet. So with that um, being set on fire, of course, he's going to do an extra seven percent damage. He's going for two zero six zero six. So it's quite nice when he's on fire. It does uh, increase that damage. It does feel like it's a considerable boost as well, especially if you got that eviscerate. You're going to get off. Uh, I didn't check if he actually had what the rune was. Sigil of intelligence, of course, on the axe, which is going to give him some nice crits and we are done with five average guys and we could go over the blue team on the next game i guess maybe or yeah, whatever 
uh, let's let's do it uh, in the break between this game and the next because let's get some PvP going on in here and give them the uh, ready. And I hear you're already doing that. I am indeed. Why not? <laughs> I'll be. I'll just do. I'll do something for a co-caster. So um, maybe just quickly, <laughs> quickly again going over this forest of Nivelle map very quickly. We have two bosses, top left and top right hand corner for each team, whether or not they kill their own, like the boss on their side is totally up to them. 25 points plus 50 stats for each member of their team. The plus 50 stats is only for a limited amount of time. The bosses respawn every three minutes from the first time they spawn. And uh, some nice little clutch plays can come out, especially towards the end of the game and during the game as well, if they can get a considerable amount of kills. So, yeah, that was a quick, quick explanation, isn't it? Yeah, why, why not? I mean, we, we covered it once. We don't need to go over too much. I mean, it's not, it's not bad to give a little bit of a... A little bit of um, information, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll just tease them. So we're just waiting for a couple of people to ready up. Uh, da, 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 da. So the opposite team as well, of course, um, WAG. We'll call him WAG for fun. What's Wag, the yeah. guild tag? Um, it's, it's some great it's Wiki's, players on uh, Wiki's Wicked Wang Gang, but WAG is a little bit easier. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Okay. So we've got all the ready ups. We've got the people going into the game in 10 seconds. We have Wiki's Wicked Wang Gang or WAG on the blue team and five average guys, aka five on the red. Let's see the splits. Okay, so, a bit of a cross coming out from the red team at the moment. Not actually stealthed either, so kind of obvious. And it looks like the Mesmer trying to get some damage off onto Zeon as he crossed Art Tatum going for that uh, Toolkit 4 ability to offer some, some shielding as he goes over, back over towards the mine. Sorry, not back, but he advances. Oh, we actually um, have some hesitation on the red team getting on the point, getting into the fight. Sometimes good, but in this case, they lost the capture point. On the other side, the mine, we have the point still neutral, still contested. And uh, Ralka from 5 is doing a good job surviving against 2. Just keep him busy. In the middle, 1v1 on Arthur against M Mahare or, or Marine? Marine. Ma Ma Marine. 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 <laughs> so, something like that. <laughs> now, the red team is retreating from the hench, which uh, I think is a good idea. And really immediately focusing on the, on the midpoint. And they're pretty quick to be there as well. That's a good, and time warps just come up as well, so they've got, a, who's their target at the moment? Not too sure, just need to get on him, it's Art Tatum at the moment, but I think, uh, oh, it feels nothing. like that time warp was kind of, he was kind of wasted really in a way as well. And the Ellie is still low on HP, he needs to think about getting out there, he does have his misform as, as well still as well, but he's okay, regening quite well, only a couple of conditions, he needs to be careful because he does have confusion on him as well. But we have another and down, to... the res is oh, coming. We actually had, I think, two people uh, two people stomping there. A little bit of a misplay. Uh, one would have been nice to do a bit of damage. The Elemental is doing a really good job in surviving here. Uh, again, getting himself back up to a proper amount of health. And the Ranger. The Ranger is the target. And we had a... Oh, we had a Dying Spirit. Did the rest come from that? I didn't see, actually. I was on the wrong player at the moment, When you just when you said that. <laughs> I'm just having a look at Foz. Foz looks like he was trying to go over towards the Hench to potentially get a decap, but Dante's over there, um, the Elementalist on the blue team, and he's actually seen him. So he's going to head back to mid now. Red need to start getting some points on the map now as well. They're losing that 1v1. Um, Reiko over on the versus Zeon again over on the uh, close point of Red team. So Red team really kind of lacking behind now. And that cap is very close for them as well. But um, the Guardian from the Red team, this is just, just whether or not she's going to stay on that cap, but she's actually going to abandon. She's uh, They're actually going to push again again over towards the henge because the thief and the mesmer have actually started to push over there so they're oh, running between Dante the nodes died really quickly two people now getting him down uh pretty instantly instantaneously uh he vapor forms and now has a possibility to get a rest oh. from lemming knockback comes in he has the rest we have an, almost no damage on him but it still isn't enough because it was so far down already yeah, that's the thing. I think Foz was just putting some uh, focus damage on the Guardian there as well to make sure, just to take advantage of any kind of situation where he could actually get any damage onto him. Because I think he was just judged that just enough 
that he was actually going to get that down, which is, you know, they can't, might have been unlucky here. They've not got any points on the board other than that kill, of course, which is what they just got. Decap's come over onto the mine node on the other side of the map. We've got a 2v2 currently going on over there with uh, Anafis and also Zeon. It does look like Mar Marine's going to go down just off node as well. I don't think the warrior on the red team is going to go for that res as well because he's going to be, you know, he's going to get a lot of focus on him if he goes for that. So he wants to keep this just kind to try of... And survive and even that <laughs> yeah, is kind that's of difficult. It at the moment conditions are just wearing them down we've got a double down so the stomp is coming and now we can see is marine actually no oh they're stomping i i wanted to see if he's uh she's actually on point or not now a little bit of a re-offensive on the midpoint they're, they're trying to find somewhere where they can engage and they got the decap but we, we have a really strong lead now the double outer point cap again uh, 200 points in the lead and nothing really quite coming from five at this moment yeah, they need to work on potentially securing maybe their close point in the moment. Just killing Zeon really, really fast. Just to securing that, then bouncing back off that to try and get back into the map. Um, but they're leaving, you know, they keep sending the warrior to the 1v1s and he's losing it, unfortunately. So they need to reevaluate what they're doing. Kill that guy fast and get back into the game and get back into the also, map, which at the moment is going to be very tough. Also, Z Zeon here is just surviving against the two people. Really good. Just keeping them busy, keeping the cap, and uh, leaves well enough time for our Tatum to join him. And actually now get Mar uh, Marine down pretty quickly. Almost in the 2v1, uh, he managed to get down Marine, but the rest is coming. They are doing damage. Relka has to consider leaving him, and he leaves him down and is probably going to do uh, go down himself once the Endure Pain wears off. Yeah, we do have a cap coming in for red now, actually. Um, really nice to see the actual <laughs> them getting the cap now. The Llama finisher just finish off, finishing off Dante in the mid. And they've sent the... Oh, it does look like we've seen the Thief and the Mesmer coming to the point, potentially to take down Zern quite fast. Do you see... Oh, the time warp comes out. Nice. Blimey, look at that burst oh, damage and, that came oh, on. Oh, a fail, failed gonna portal get the stomp all the way to Q. No! So. Oh, unfortunate there. They should have just gone for a good old regular stomp with the time warp and the quickness. That's all, all you needed. All of the fancy stuff. I, I think the uh. quickness actually screwed up the time warp, uh, the portal stomp there. Kind exactly. Of made, it, made it difficult to get back in quick enough. Because, yeah, I mean, he comes out of it going through the portal on the other side, so I don't think he's got that quickness still. So, unfortunately... Oh, God, he's almost up. He's so close, but the stomp is going... No, the, the stomp is not going through. He went into stealth, but Raka is still not trying to res him. Now it's a little bit too late to actually get the res, and we have dogs going rampage. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's actually my next door snog. actually in my house. I'm not sure how that happened. Um, but blue team, blue team really well in the lead now. 365 points to 54 on the red team. Now, red team first time in ESL, needing to just put, try and get a little bit of confidence back into this game, which can hopefully push them into the next one. Um, and I think, you know, the ne next team, next oh. uh, map might give them a little bit more of an advantage. But at the moment, yeah, they're holding mid and they're holding it quite well. Well, we, we have Harlequin, I think, overextending a little bit, went into uh, the 1v1 uh, one with, the, with the possible uh, 1v2 coming in, with the, <laughs> lemming, uh, with the lemming going in there, and, well, he's, he's keeping people busy, but he doesn't really stand much of a chance to win that. We, we're going to have a bit of reinforcement from Walker, but our Tatum's there as well. Uh, we've got Uruviel. I, I need to get used to those names. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably the better way to say, it, actually, to be honest. But, you know, I mean, I think it would have been the SR coming out there for the actual res as well. But I think just did a little did do a little bit of damage, which actually meant that he came out of that. So, so a little bit, probably a few nerves coming out, but they did get the res, you know, some nice little moves coming out from these guys. They're not over, they're not committing fully to points as well, which is good. They're coming out of the points, then making sure that they're not going to stay there for the entirety of the time. But they need to be aware that people like our Tatum are currently free casting on the point and he is easily just doing so much damage and no one's even bothering him. Um, and, you know, he can just... <laughs> lay down the pain they need to be aware of these guys that are just off point it's just a bit of experience and you know a bit of pressure yeah let, let, let me still actually gonna win. having some trouble uh, surviving we've got Foss chasing him pretty good but he managed to outrun him kind of uh, and now with one hit from the warrior, Fonz has to retreat from the fight, goes down in a really unfortunate spot. I'll take him there to relieve the pain and finish him off. Uh, we've got Marine now st uh, getting the decap on the hench point. 
while we have the uh, the Swania, no chieftain there. We had the chieftain kill, yeah, coming out from Dante, which is why the decap came in as well. So he just wanted to finish that, get into the next game, and foe fire time. 100 points there from red team. Not too bad against the team we see quite often in uh, tournaments. Not too ESL. bad as their ESL debut. Exactly, exactly. So, guys, thank you very much for joining us. This is the semi-final of the ESL Weekly Cup. Number 40. We've been doing this for 40 weeks, Nick. Yeah. 40, 40 weeks. That's almost a year of competitive SPVP in the ESL, which yeah. is pretty good, I've got to say. No, and, uh, I, uh, think, I think I actually cast most of them, which is mm. qu quite a lot. I'm actually now with, with, with the English casts. Uh, I think I'm the one person with most ESL, uh, most casted ESL weekly cups. Really? Are you I, sure you've beaten me? I think so. I've done it since like week four. I've done it since <laughs> the uh, since well the the second one because the first one wasn't streamed. Ah, uh, okay. But, well, but, we'll, but we'll I have maybe out. like three or four that I didn't cast. I, I don't know. Okay. Alright, we'll have to see. Maybe we'll do equal. You can be beating me by one. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. We're, we're gonna we're gonna get some facts on that, and then see who's the true ESL king. I think Oli should do it while he's in Paris. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we are on Faux Fire. Um, quick map explanation, very very quickly, guys. Um, blue team, red team, blue team top right, red team top uh, bottom left. Sorry, quarry bottom right, graveyard middle. Waterfall on the top left. That's the free capture points, of course. This is a uh, capture point conquest mode. Um, capturing the point gives you points on the map. Um, we do have a lord in each corner of the map as well. Top right is blue lords. Top left is red lord. When you kill these lords, you get 150 points. There are four mobs as well. Um, the mobs give you nothing, but when you kill the lord, you get those points. And uh, points mean wins, obviously, especially if you hit 350 points, getting up to 500 with that lord kill, that will give you 500 points. Um, and might be an option for five average guys as well to possibly cause maybe an upset against WAG. And uh, it's, it's totally doable because I actually think that this setup really does favour... Uh, the red team in terms of the thief and uh, the mesmer and and also even the Ellie with that with that teleport of course they can get around the map they can be stealthy um, and they can be very supportive especially with the mesmer running that portal as well. Yeah, mobility might be on their side, but we can't forget that because of these points are so close together, they are fairly easy to control once you have a one team fight. Uh, we always say the entire match can really snowball on this map so you see even even teams with just a tiny bit of skill difference completely getting stomped by another team uh, mm. like 500 to 100 results at the end of a game even even though they're really close together on a skill level uh, it's it's gonna be difficult but when the red team or if the red team properly wins a team fight they have the same opportunity they have the same opportunity to really quickly secure the map and get it under their control mm -hmm. the question is can they win the team fights uh, because i don't actually think we're gonna see too much of an aggressive play from the blue side uh, more well a as an opener i i assume they're gonna go for all three points but uh, once they get a point, once th once they get a midpoint, uh, they might actually retreat and just play it safely with two points, because th their setup is just better for that. Yeah, true. Well, we'll see, Nick. We'll see. We will indeed in about ten Bit seconds, down. because the match is about to start. We're in the second match of this best of three. It's the first semi-final in the ESL Weekly Cup number 40. 40, yeah. <laughs> 40, okay. number 40. Number 40, and we'll have a look at the splits. Not being that defensive, actually, blue team. That's just no, quite I, a surprise. I said three three points uh, aggressive on opener, but afterwards retreating. We'll see. If uh, I'm okay. Correct. We will see. I think you might. Probably not. Be, oh, look at that going onto the warrior as soon as he. Ha! Oh, nice. Okay, he did pop. Uh, he popped for Zakasans, of course, again trying to get that adrenaline to full and uh, doing quite well actually getting onto that point. 
decapped any caps that the red team had and no one okay no saying that Reiko is on the point the warrior and the red team harlequin needs to be very careful some focus coming onto him he's going to die very quickly unless he can oh the portal's there but the risk can't happen because he's on the portal and he's not able to find that sweet oh, spot to that get that really risk, unfortunate which is just unlucky really more than anything so the port probably would have been a good idea sooner rather than later and the guardian just coming in just a fraction too late unfortunately i think with the with that, hull, that port is so unpredictable they actually ported into the cleave so unfortunately for the Guardian not able to get there in time to res, it does look like the Warrior is going to go down just off point as well, Lemming is able to get that stability stop down and the Guardian is alone versus three players but of course the Guardian is going to start moving towards the mid cap Okay, I pretty much assume I was wrong with my predict uh, prediction because <laughs> WAG is just winning this team fight so clearly at the moment uh, that they can easily go for for the uh, three points and i think they're going to do it uh, at first they have of course the ability to easily hold the midpoint contested uh, we had lemming has a swag no has wag not swag lemming uh, oh. on the midpoint really <laughs> holding out against the early aggression we had from the red team because they didn't split on uh, on all three points with the opener but he managed to hold that so early points from the waterfall now they're cleared of the quarry and the midpoint is really the one to be debated about oh harlequin actually pulled out the time warp to get the res which is actually you know maybe potentially a good idea they really need to take advantage of this stay in it and keep that quickness and trying to you know take advantage of that big long cooldown that came up um so harlequin's back in the fight dude at mid and that was actually you know probably quite a good move in the end because it really has just evened it back up for them and the focus really now is actually on Art Tatum. Art Tatum's doing a really good job of trying to survive on Node at the moment but he needs to try and potentially think about getting out the focus comes in. He's gone down. Lemmy's gone in for the res. No cleave damage coming on the body and he's going to get res fast and they're actually going to flip it right over and take in uh, Mahareen down into the down state and I think he's back up or is he in misform? No, he is indeed back up as well. So Red Team need to think about potentially going for a side node here um, and trying to just take away some of the red team, uh, yeah, we, sorry, blue team members. Uh, the thought was the same with the red team itself because Harlequin went for uh, trying to get the decap on the waterfall, but Dante was on it, was fast enough to get that. And actually, wh why is Lemming there as well? I think he's come that, to get that's... the greatsword, apparently. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, let I don't me know. just take that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I just needed to go all the way there together. But you know, red team actually, I'm gonna, you know, the the war banners come out. I did actually miss that. I think uh, who's running? Uh, sorry, I, there was a red war banner, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah I saw that was Zeon's. Here. That was Zeon's. So someone actually went down. Oh, Artem's down now. Off node. He's gonna get res by Zeon though. I think the bomb coming out, putting but the knock back down on. Could have some problems. He's so low, and we don't have uh, really the probability to rest uh, with more people than just slamming because he's not going to do it against those three. Although the knockback, no damage is coming in. He is actually going to do it, but paying with almost two thirds of his own life. Yeah, but Foz is on his own here. No one from the red team is actually backing him up. They need to equalize this 2v2, actually, because Foz is pretty... Foz is doing such a good job off night. Like, he's just following him. He might actually take him down now. And even with the pressure of Zeon, I think, you know, he made a really good effort there to try and take him down. But of course, you know, Art Tatum's using that <laughs> that tool belt... Sorry, the uh, toolkit 5 magnet skill to pull him back and uh, offer a bit of damage up on his face. So, yeah, unfortunately... Foz doing a good job though. Yeah, we, we just effort. saw in the mid fight uh, really wag rotating quite well. Not actually between the points, which is uh, happening now. Harlequin actually got the decap against Dante. He was a little bit too slow, uh, but they were pulling out of the mid fight. One person was staying there and just hiding behind the uh, large stone slab, large stone wall on the side. So really rotating again, waiting for the cooldowns to be for them to you uh, to be useful again and going mm -hmm. back into the mid fight what well, was nice to see like r really like a carousel no that that's not the word um well like a merry-go-round that, that, merry it's the same thing <laughs> oh carousel is actually a word i didn't know carousel is yes yeah, exactly the same thing oh no that's basically the german word english pronounced <laughs> didn't thought well, i made yeah. that up <laughs> 
<laughs> Nick coming out with the uh, the translations during the cast. Fair enough. But look, um, Harlequin actually took down Dante 1v1. And unfortunately, he's going to get the res. He needs to try and get as much damage down as he possibly can because that res is going to come out before he can get that down. He's actually doing a really good job of keeping it up. But unfortunately, Dante is up. No one again really backing up the Harlequin on that cap to secure that node. And really, the backup isn't coming from the red team at the moment. They're just sending singular players off to the sides at the moment, which is what they really need to try and get some backup. Very often and... they find themselves in 2v1 situations. <laughs> yeah. This time, though, they managed to turn it around, although Marion is almost down and now it went into down state. Zion is going to have a problem with keeping him there. Uh, even though we can interrupt, he is trying to do some damage and the rest is... is he re Wait, what is happening? Does he have a disconnect? Or did he... Uh, I don't a think so. Give up? He's just standing there. Didn't get the rest. Now he's back. Yeah, I think... I don't know what happened. Maybe line of sight with the cart, the weird cart thing. He was <laughs> he was immobilized, but that can't have been for that long. Okay, well, it's just probably just a bit... I don't know. Maybe a bit of lag. Who knows? Not too sure. Unfortunate there, but doing a good job. Probably, well, you know, the point is In the mid, there. we've got Ralka dying off point. In downside, being left there to bleed out and another getting the midpoint uh. cap. So we have all three now in the position of whack and it at the moment actually looks like it's going to be 500 to zero because uh, five are having real troubles to finding a, a, some way to get back into the game some 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 point to be aggressive yeah i mean they're doing a good job at just decapping but they're not securing the caps at all and blue team are backing up with they're outnumbering them on the point killing them fast and they're just getting back to the mid fight which is just going on forever and at the moment red team really making a big mistake you shouldn't be going for the midpoint in the free cap fight it's just no point because it's so large there's no way you, you can only knock them out of the point you can't knock them down off the point so it takes them longer to get up to get those decaps and in this situation they really have lost it completely Completely. They need to focus on the side nodes rather than the mid cap mid fight and maybe they're just kind of going to see if they can actually win this fight now because they realize they've lost the game. Um, maybe you can just try and get some kills on this mid fight. Not too sure but normally this wouldn't be the best idea for them to do. Yeah, especially because the people can just run back into the point and keep it neutral even if they're winning the team fight. They have some yeah. good focus going on Anatha. Anatha, uh, if we um, remember some other games from WAC, uh, often the focus target. Yeah, that's it. I mean, the, the banner is, there's a lot of res utility on the blue team as well, with the banner, with the spirit, and, you know, there's, it's really nice for them to, in team fights, they're going to be up for a while. Red team are going to have a lot of, you know, work to do in, in trying to get them down. They've actually done well in that mid fight, but, you know, not securing the downs, not securing the points, going back to mid to fight, and I think they're just they're actually playing out the game at the moment. Yeah, and a three cap is pretty quick to accumulate the 500 point, uh, point, points, uh, which is where we're at at the moment, and this means the second game goes to whack a little bit clearer than the first one, but to be fair, we, we see this all the time, that this map is easier to control and the skill difference shows itself way more.